All right, let's take a look and see what it is that the collective needs to surrender. All right, surrender to drama. So um, no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issues more quickly. Okay, so there's some drama that some of you are about to do, you know, be confronted with, or it could be happening now. You're being told not to surrender to it. Don't give in to that drama, okay? It's not worth you putting the energy and the effort into it, okay? I feel like some of you have multiple people that are looking at you wanting to trigger you. I feel like this is a trigger um, warning for someone here, okay? And it's time to surrender the idea you could fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or own, her own healing. You can't fix anybody. And I feel like the drama is because someone is trying to fix someone, trying to change someone, maybe trying to get someone to see something different. But if this person doesn't see it, they just don't see it. And I feel like um, this could be triggering someone. Or maybe someone is dealing with a person who is full of drama or creates situations. It's like, no, you don't allow this person's drama to become your drama. What do we have here? Yeah, you have the Ten of Wands. Don't allow this person's drama or the fact that this person is not shifting or changing to, cause, to, to create these burdens on your back. Look at this Ten of Wands. Why are you carrying these burdens that don't belong to you? They release it. Let it go. It's weighing you down. It's holding you back. It's keeping you from moving forward. So that's why you're being told that it's time to surrender the drama. You remain calm. Don't let this person have you stuck where you can't move because they are burdened down with certain things. And then you're going to end up in the five of cups in regret because of the fact that you've allowed something to keep you stuck and keep you from moving forward. And you go to thinking about all the things that you could be doing with your life or could have been doing with your life, but you were too busy carrying someone else's burdens, dealing with someone else's bullshit. And now you're you're in a position where it's difficult for you to move. Don't let anybody tie you up, get you wrapped up in a situation that does not involve you. Okay. Or you're going to end up in this five of cups. Okay. You're going to be the one in regret. So it's time to be strong, be bold, speak your mind, and move forward. Six of Cups, okay? Go towards something that is more calm and something that seems to make you feel at home. Something that gives you that peace of mind. Because I feel that for many of you, you may have gotten yourself entangled into someone else's confusion. This doesn't have anything to do with you. Let them sort out their own issues. You know what I'm saying? Six of Pentacles here. Okay, don't give your energy away. Don't give your energy to something that is not balanced here. The only way to find balance in, in this situation is for you to for you to um, possibly move forward towards your own victory and success. Six of um, wands here. Yeah, give you want equal give and take. And for some of you, it's not equal because one person is is um having something's going on in their life or a situation, whatever it is, it's throwing it's throwing your connection off balance. It's time for you to rest and have peace. Four of swords. Some of you it's time to meditate. Go off onto your own um, you know, I'm I'm feeling like the hermit vibe. Like go, it's time for you to go somewhere and recharge two of pentacles because there's an imbalance somewhere. And in order for you to get it back into balance, you're going to need to possibly isolate yourself or remove yourself from a situation. Yeah, look, six of pentacles and two of pentacles. Something's not balanced here. Mm -hmm. The sun card. You want to be happy. You want to move towards a more fulfilling time in your life. Okay, this could be even dealing with the child or you know, you can have children in your life that are bringing drama and confusion. You can't fix them. Yes, that's your child and you want to do all that you can. But if trying to get them to change their mind, trying to get them to see something different is causing you to be stuck or putting you in binds and causing things around you to become chaotic. Look at the hermit comes in reverse. I knew that hermit was going to pop out. Yeah, this is to me, this is someone forcing you. To have to go into isolation. This is some a situation that's forcing you to close yourself off to other people. Because it seems like every time you come around or they come around, there's some type of confusion. 
And maybe you've talked to this person, you've told this person and given them good advice, but it seems like nothing is changing them from their toxic behavior. So it's time for you to retreat and focus on yourself. Anything else for the collective here? Anything else for the collective? You have the Emperor and the Star card. Okay, it's time to take control of this situation. It's time for you to um, heal yourself. It's time for you to rise up. Okay, I feel like some of you are dealing with, with a situation or people, places, or thing, and it's dimming your light, and it's causing you to not shine as bright as you're supposed to shine. It's causing you to, um, shoot, miss out on your happiness and your wish fulfillment because this is being hopeful. You need to remain hopeful for your own future, okay? Because you have control of your own destiny, your own life. So whatever someone else is going through, it, it don't let it cause you to be stuck, man. It don't allow it to stop you from moving forward in your personal life. You have things that you want to do. There are things and goals that you want to achieve. And if someone around you is um, in this five of pentacles where they're always down, always out, always in need, you know, they they draining you of your resources. You're going to end up in the five of pentacles. And you know where they're going to end up? They're going to end up right. <laughs> Look, you got the seven of swords and you have the high priestess. They're going to end up in a better position than you. Because they're going to deplete you of all your energy, all of your resources, and everything that you need for your own journey. Okay? So you have the seven of swords and you have the high priestess. I feel like intuitively you know that there's the, that when it comes to a particular person, there's information that's being hidden. There are things about a situation that's missing uh, pieces. Um, this person could be trying to manipulate a situation and your intuition is telling you that there's, there's um, more to a story. There's more to a situation than what a person is letting on. Anything else? The Wheel of Fortune. It's time for you to be on the top, okay? You are still coming out as a star card. There's, there are, you have your own hopes and dreams and desires. There are things that the universe is trying to give to you. You don't have time for this. You don't have time for people coming into your life with toxic energy and these, these unhealthy attachments. And then even when they're telling you something, they're only telling you part of the story and they're leaving you with all these burdens. You know what I'm saying? Let's get something something from the moonology. I feel like I've been on this reading a long time and it hasn't even been, but not even eight minutes. Emotions are running high. Super moon. Yeah, emotions are running high right now because there's some drama that someone is in that someone could possibly have you entangled in. And I feel like this, I feel like with somebody, their emotions always running high. Be bold and make the first move. It's time for you to, to come out of this. It's time for you to remove yourself from this. It's a time for healing. You got your own healing work to do. You got your own things that you need to be working on within yourself. So how can you continue to try to give to someone who's doing nothing but depleting your energy and then they go back and do the same thing again? Nothing is changing here. They're stuck and you're going to be in the five of cups. Um, trying to build, get your strength together to come out of the situation. Yeah. Don't allow it to happen. I don't care if it's a lover, a family member, a coworker, whatever it is. Um, it's time for you to, you know, let go of whatever this drama is and focus on your future. Focus on what, what your purpose and why you're here. All right, collective? This is the message that I have for you. Hope it resonates. I hope it helps someone um, today to really see something from a different perspective, guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. Let me know if it resonates. Bye-bye.